Welcome to Indie Resources' 24th video on how to make a browser-based MMORG. This is Hall's Valhalla. We're now on our second part of our message system. Last video we got our message to show up. Now we just need to be able to read it. So let's actually go back to our profile page. And what we're going to want to do then, to be able to read it, we're going we're gonna to have to cut this stuff to where it only shows up if we're not doing something else so let's do this let's go back we've used this before the bypass I, I like to use it a lot so the first thing of course we want to be able to do is we need to we need to go ahead and create this variable bypass equals zero this just kinda of creates it to where it's setting it and in kinda of like in two videos ago how it was saying it's not set this is actually saying okay now it's set so even if I see it or not I'll know it's there um, so what we want to do is we want to do if bypass it's not equal one which it doesn't by default so that means it's going to go ahead and run this and we're always going to want that go back so let's leave that open to where it always displays that way we don't have to put it in between each one <coughs> So technically, I don't want to refresh here, otherwise it's going to send a second message. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go... Looks like I already did refresh, and it sent two messages. Yeah, so let's delete one. Nope, oh, upload my video. Um, let's refresh, continue, there's our one message. So if we go back to our profile, assume bypass, did I goof something on there? Oh, that's why been coding in JavaScript and too used to it. Okay, so we're back here. We got our one message. You can see everything still works like normal. Now when we hit this, of course, it's going to send... We're going to not want it to show that. We're going to want it to show the actual read your messages. So we're going to do... We're going to kind of copy this right here. We're going to put it right here. And this isn't a post variable to get because we're going to be sending it through the URL link. And we're just gonna think it's just called message messages maybe yeah messages okay so now that's what's gonna that's what's gonna read we don't want it to to show this so we're gonna set our variable bypass equals one and that'll stop it okay now we want it to actually pull that message and I'm gonna swing back here to this where read message and we're going to do this we're going to copy and we're going to paste a lot of this now this is going to just post read messages um, we're going to delete this out of here actually you know what I did do it differently we're not going to do that because we just wanted to show the messages I kind of copied the wrong one there and I tell you what, we'll go ahead and just copy this whole thing right here. And we'll go ahead and get delete message. We'll get it all in one thing and then I'll go through what we're doing. Because I'm basically using the same premises. So basically I've just copied... Um, the only thing I want to do is... let's. I'm going to keep that get messages. And I'm going to go from there. I'm going to leave that there. So there we go. The only thing I'm going to have to do, messages, get messages, blah, blah, blah. Yep, that's what we want. So let's space this out. Let's go ahead and put some comments. Um, this is to read a message. This is... See message list. So... What we're doing is just showing messages, of course. You're, we're creating a real quick table, um, and then we're going to select all for messages where PID. So and basically, select all your messages. And if it's new, then we're going to put this little new thing here. So, in other words, if um, I'm using this select backpack, I use it for everything. I, I used it in one of my original games, and now it's just been copied over so many times, but could not select. Let's change this. As you can see, when I'm copying something that's not on videos, I get lazy about just what I put in there because it doesn't really matter. But anyway. <coughs> Select all for messages. If the message, if the read me field is one, that means if it's new, we haven't read it, then of course it's going to say new next to the message. Um, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to actually print out some things about the message. 
the we're gonna we're gonna put another form in there to read the message, and the value is gonna be read. Um, let's see, where's the put type submit value read, and then we're gonna put a hid, hidden value read message, which you'll see is going to be this right here. Before I go any further, though, we're gonna test what we have so far, and we're putting that randed and that date so it selects by that. And I did do the date a little differently, so I'm I'm not 100% positive that's going to work. We may have to change that around a little bit, but if either way, we can. So let's go ahead and click our messages. And it didn't go through, so let's see what we did wrong. Let's look at our get variable is messages equal one. Get messages if it's that. Oh, didn't save it. I'm good about that. So look at our messages. Bam. Okay, probably going to change. We need to do a bypass there, so let's do that first. Undefined variable font. So let's look at line 75. So here's the first thing we're going to do. Bypass equals 1. That'll get rid of that bottom half. Now, there was a font on what line? Let's go ahead and refresh just so we see it. Did I not save it? Uh, line 76. Send message. Put it under the wrong one. Okay. And then we're going to look at 76, which would be 77 now, because I never erased it. Uh, font size, font color, font, font. Not sure where it's getting that from. Let's double check that line real quick. Okay, so that's gone. It's got an extra go back in there, which we can get rid of. Okay, the font's a little small, so actually, I'm going to get rid of that font completely. There's there's no re reason to even have it. I, the reason why I had it is because the other game was a lot smaller. The Everything was a little different about it. So, let's make sure of... Okay, last one, I think. Yes, so let's see what that gives us. Line 77. Did I miss one? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Then we got our font color, which I'm going to go ahead and get rid of for now. We may come back and add a little font color, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. And we just got to change that table. Um, this is a good way. Uh, one of one of my main reasons for for kind of going back and and pulling some code out of one of my other games is because I know you guys, if if you're like me, you go in and you you download a lot of scripts and things and then you add them to your page. Want to kind of just kind of go through, you know, the easiest way to do that when you're bringing things in, the errors that come up, how to fix them and stuff like that. Because you know that's what a game, especially a PHP kind of game, consists of is. Um, Pulling in other scripts and stuff like that. Let's change the border to black. Okay, there we go. So there's your message. It's telling you it's new. There's the date. Um, we can fix this here in a minute. The sender. We can either do padding or we can do what I do is just and is just put some uh, little spacers in between there. The sender who sent it to you and the subject, and then we can go to read here in a second, but not yet. So if you kind of want to fix that date, and I'm going to show you the the um, the ugly way of doing it real quick. It's kind of what these are. These are just spacers. It's it's an easy way to just get you some real quick space in there without actually adding padding or anything. Um, actually, we're going to have to use padding for this. And eh, no, we won't. Let's just throw some in there. Let's throw some on this side. Kind of expand it a little bit. I left some, uh, left some of these in there. This is not the best way of doing this, but it's quick, it's easy, 
and it gets me what I need. You guys might want to play with the the actual uh, padding a little bit, or if I tell you even a quicker way, if you want to do it a lot quicker, you can take this out right here, and we can put it actually right here. But anyway, I'll let you guys kind of clean it up and stuff. I'll let you do your own thing. But it kind of tells you the time, the date, all the, all that good stuff. So now, now we're now we're good there. Um, let me check my video length. Drop that out. Okay. So now we now whenever we click on it, we're gonna it's going to post it back to our profile, and we're gonna be read message is gonna be our value. So we're gonna be looking for uh, read a message. Bypass equals one, so it's going to stop it automatically. It's going to pick this up here. Um, it's going to give you the read message. It's going to post our variables. We're going to have to check to make sure that date's going to work. But so we're going to update. First thing we want to do. It's now been read, so we want to say it's no longer read. So update message is set read m equals zero now, which means it's not read. Where the PID equals this, the date equals that, and the random equals that. Then we're going to go to message select all for messages where, and it's kind of the same thing. It's going to select the message and then we're going to print it out. And let's go ahead and look to see what it looks like, and then we'll come back and maybe format it. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Let's go to read. Uh, didn't go anywhere, so it's most likely our form that we've got messed up. Uh, let's see where does our form start? Form post goes to profile and put a submit value is read. Let's see. Here looks to be one problem. Let's check that out. Let's go back. Let's start over. Messages. Read. There we go. Sometimes you have to just kind of completely come out of the refresh and, and start over to make it work, especially when you make code changes. Um, so it's been read. The since now here's here's the one thing since this is actually ran in your code before the messages since your actual stat panel is read before this any of these changes are made it's going to be one page behind so you'll see it still shows one message even though we read it but as soon as we go back to our inbox it's gone no more new messages so now you're back to here you can still go to messages you can still read your message but it's not a new one. Um, I'm gonna let you guys format this however you want. I don't really care. It's it's you can put add a little table in there. Or do do it however you want. Maybe even add another little panel here just for your messages however you want. But let's go ahead and make it to where we can delete it now. Before we delete it though, I want to test something. I'm gonna go back to the inbox. And the inbox actually we're gonna want to change to where it goes back to the messages. So let's let's create another one. This is message two. Blah, 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 blah. and send to halls send message and let's send another one this is message three another spam three just so we know and let's go to send message and we're gonna go back and now you see we have two new messages so of course we're sending them to ourselves but if we were to send them to another player when they log in they would see this here it's gonna work either way I'm just kinda using myself so we can see it so let's look at our messages and you can see here's that one red message. The other thing we want to do that let's go ahead and do right now, let's order this by date so that way the newest comes on top. Um, messages. Let's oops. Order by date. Why is there a D above this? Uh, read. Oh, I don't know how that even got in there. Must have fat fingered it. Okay. So there you go. It orders by the date. This is test message. Test is one. You know, two, three. If you want to change the order to where the the graders up top, then you can change it to descending or ascending. Um, let's see if I remember how that. Yeah. 
There you go, there's your newest ones on top. ASC is to put the, the oldest ones on bottom, or pretty much defaults that way. Um, so we have this new message. The other thing I wanted to do here was I wanted to make it to where when we go back, once we're in read message, um, go back to inbox, this needs to have a hidden messages value equals one. Well, that's strange. Oh, it's a git, that's why. So what, what it's doing is, is it's actually posting a variable of messages instead of getting so all we have to do here is or is set and instead of typing all this I'm just going to copy it right here and then we're going to change that to a post Yeah, so that way it's either or. Either way you do it, it's gonna it's gonna fall through and to test it. Let's refresh this. Let's read our message. Let's go back to the inbox and there we go. And you got one message that's new and that's it. Let's let's read it. Blah blah blah. Now let's work on delete. Let's see, let's make sure delete's gonna work. Delete a message, delete, delete for messages, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, message deleted. Looks like everything's gonna work just fine. So let's test it out. Delete. Message deleted. Back to inbox. There it's gone. So let's try another one. Delete. Back to inbox. So that's your messaging system all in one. I, I told you it'd be easy. It's easier than you'd even think it would be. The only thing, only other thing I want to do real quick is, and, and I'm, I'm going to do it probably on the next video. Let's see where we're at. I know YouTube kind of kills me. Uh, 16 minutes. We better end this video and I'll, I'll show it on the next one.